think uh, the government will be focusing on um, security issues, especially uh, on the terrorist threat to um, uh, keep it at a le low level so that um, people are secure to go about and do their daily lives. Um, at the moment, uh, the level of security that uh, we have uh, uh, put uh, for the country is at, at for, for possible terrorist attacks is at a very low level because of the uh, lack of uh, sophistication of the uh, would-be terrorists and also the lack of uh, leadership, uh, strong leadership that uh, uh, could command them. As far as we know today, we, they have uh, limited access to, uh, s um, to weaponry and also to explosives. So, uh, but we are monitoring the situation uh, to make sure that uh, all uh, public uh, areas are being uh, monitored very closely, making sure that uh, people uh, are vigilant. Uh, for example, uh, making sure that uh, there are no suspicious bags of package packages left at uh, major transport hubs which uh, may you know, turn out to be uh, something um, uh, detrimental to the uh, security of the uh, users of these uh, public transport centres. We have to strike a balance between uh, maintaining a high level of security and also uh, not uh, restricting the movement of uh, people in the country. We also do not want to create a panic uh, amongst the local population and also the foreign uh, population, you know. Uh, but so far, uh, the situation is under control. Well, the current trend of uh, the, these uh, would-be terrorists is they act alone. They may receive orders from um, people who are outside of the country, uh, but they haven't been able to uh, uh, congregate and uh, combine to do a more uh, sophisticated and also a more dangerous attack. Uh, so it has resulted in um, uh, many lone wolf type of uh, attacks which uh, has happened in Movida mm. where you know uh, just a small group of uh, uh, would-be terrorists you know, uh, using uh, a, a grenade on the pub and uh, luckily enough uh, we have managed to isolate the uh, incidents to an area which is not heavily uh, frequented by by people, especially foreigners. So the impact uh, that they have made on uh, by the uh, Puchong uh, attacks, the, the Movida pub, uh, pub attacks, has not uh, really um, been successful. Number one, we encourage people to come here, yeah. be it tourists or investors. Uh, uh, and we built uh, some of the biggest airports in the world to facilitate their, their entry into the country. Yeah. And, and also as a result, uh, our airports are being used as a hub for people to move to other countries uh, in the region. Uh, therefore, not only do we face a problem of people coming into this country, uh, f uh, planning to do um, illegal activities maybe uh, but also we become a hub for them to go to another country through our airports we also build uh, huge ports to facilitate trade uh, within uh, uh, within the country and also within the region and uh, you know it, it encourages people to also smuggle contraband uh, through our ports uh, we also have a big land border uh, with Indonesia on the Kalimantan side, yeah. with uh, uh, for the Philippines uh, uh, on on the eastern side, and also with the Thai border, which uh, uh, stretches you know a couple of hundred miles. So this presents uh, challenges to our security because of activities of people who want to do ter terrorist activities, and also transnational crime, mm -hmm. transboundary. Uh, crime. So Malaysia also, uh, also being the c a country in the middle of ASEAN, ASEAN region. Uh, therefore, it's a natural uh, uh, hub for this sort of activities, which require uh, more vigilance, which require more surveillance, which require more efforts to uh, 
stop these kind of activities from happening. Uh, so security is a big issue. And uh, plus, uh, latest development is uh, we used to be a safe haven for terrorists. That means uh, they used to use us, uh, Malaysia, as a springboard to perform attacks you know, elsewhere. Now, the latest development is uh, because of the Salafist type of movement where uh, Muslims, you know, these groups actually encourage their members to, act, to even attack or kill Muslims, the Salafi movement. Malaysia has, be has no longer become a safe hub, Malaysia has be a safe haven, Malaysia has now become a target as well. So uh, uh, this uh, the security, the security issue is challenging and uh, you know it's a broad uh, threat it's not just uh, focused on a, a single or, or you know double threats it's many threats which uh, makes the job of uh, the home ministry very difficult i think uh, in response to the 2013 ladatu incident yeah. you know uh, the government took uh, positive steps uh, with the um, uh, creation of escom Yep. which uh, unified all the uh, command uh, structures of the uh, security forces, for example, the police, the army, under one uh, command. And that has been successful uh, in basically um, securing our land borders. Uh, for example, on the border of, 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 of sub, uh, on the land of Sabah itself and also on the islands. Uh, where tourists uh, like to frequent. We have beefed up our patrols there. And uh, so far, knock on wood, in the last one year, uh, we haven't had uh, any attacks or kidnappings on the ground side of, of, of all the islands of Sabah. The last of Sandakan, uh, Sandaka Ocean King, uh, uh, last year. Mm. So since then, in the last one year, uh, the kidnappings have occurred through kidnappings on the sea not on land. So uh, we look at it as a, as a measure of success of the, uh, of the efforts that we have undertaken to uh, uh, secure the uh, land borders of, of, of Sabah. And now uh, we are looking at how to uh, basically minimize uh, the threat and also the risk of uh, uh, criminal activities uh, happening uh, on the uh, uh, seas of uh, Sabah. Look at the, uh, uh, the reality of it. Yeah. You know, uh, it was it was dangerous on land and also on sea before. So we prioritize with the limited resources we have. We have secured the land. Now we're looking at securing the uh, uh, sea uh, area. Now securing the sea area is much more difficult because it involves different countries, yeah. and it, inv it also involves sovereignty. So we cannot just unilaterally cross into Indonesia's borders or, or Indonesia's wat Indonesian waters or, or the Filipino waters to um, uh, carry out our activities. Therefore, uh, recently um, it was announced that uh, we now, uh, the three countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, have agreed on joint sea patrols, which they are working out uh, the logistics. Because you must remember, uh, the sea area is a big area to cover and uh, we need a lot of uh, marine uh, infrastructure, boats, uh, uh, etc. to patrol this area. So hopefully with the uh, cooperation between the three countries, we will be able to uh, secure as much of the sea area as we can and reduce, uh, reduce any uh, uh, risk of uh, kidnappings from uh, uh, these criminals. Mm -hmm.